This video discusses why the Edge browser now has a suitcase icon on it and what it means. So if you use the Edge browser, which is what I have open here, you may have noticed recently there was an update and sometimes you have this little tiny brown icon on it on the logo, which is like a little overlay and it's like a suitcase. And what that actually stands for is basically that you're logged into the Edge browser in a business account. So with a business account. So what that means is if you've ever logged into something and you enter your Microsoft credentials, you type in your email, whatever it may be. And the next thing that it prompts you for is, is this a work or school account slash is it a personal account? So work and school is one option and personal is the other. If you select work slash school, you're gonna, when the browser, after you finish logging into Microsoft, the Edge browser will then have this little icon on it, this little briefcase, because it means it's a work account. And another way you can verify that is by going up to the very top left corner where the little person icon is. And I don't have a picture in here, which is why it's just the standard little person. And if you click on that, it says work right here. So that's how you know that this was created. I basically logged into a work Microsoft account. And so now when I do stuff, it's basically trying to oops, trying to sandbox this web browser from another from another one. So you could open up Edge again and not log into your work account. And basically on the work one, you do all your work stuff. And then on the personal one, you could basically do your, per, your personal searches. The idea is to keep them separate. So the other thing that you could do is you can log in as another account. You can create a personal account. So we could do set up a personal profile and it's gonna run you through some stuff. I'm gonna say start without your data because it's faster. Um, sure, confirm and start browsing. Then I get to pick what I want it to look like. So I'm gonna say dark because I have light eyes and that makes me happier. And then I'm gonna say next. And it's like basically just little things, little information, I say finish. And you'll notice that when I did this, there's a second uh, icon. There's another Edge browser open. This one has, it's hard to see, but an image of a tiny little person. The same person that's up here is also on the overlay on this icon, meaning it's a personal account. So if I had a personal picture in there, that's what would show up. And your last option is to, to browse as if you were a guest. So clicking on that same tab, if you go down to other profiles, you can simply say browse as a guest. So you might do this if you're logging on or if you were just borrowing someone else's computer for a short period of time or something like that. And if I do that, I, I don't really run into the whole, hey, let's set up an account. Um, but I do get yet another instance of the Edge browser. But this time it looks like it's looked like all these years before they pushed out these profiles where it was just the little swooshy logo and that's it. No overlay, no person overlay, no suitcase overlay, and you're just browsing as a guest. So it's not going to like hang on to, um, you know, places you've been and things like that because it's you're just a guest and it's not meant to store anything. So those are sort of the differences between what the new Edge browser is doing, what those overlays mean. Um, so you might try to attend a meeting and it, if you're in one of these windows and it's for a work, it might open one of these. It might force that to open. That's why that's doing that. It's trying to separate your work and um, business browsing from your personal browsing. So that's why the Edge browser now has a suitcase icon on it and what it means.